Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Find out how you can get two months of free unlimited online learning by clicking the link in the description below. Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here and the 2019 MacBook Pro is here. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the rumored 16.5 inch MacBook Pro we've been hearing about, but Apple has decided to upgrade the processors inside of the existing MacBook Pro body, bumping it up from a six core processor all the way to a whopping eight cores. Now I got the Core i9 model with 2.3 base gigahertz clock speed with a turbo boost all the way up to 4.8 gigahertz. This is the first MacBook Pro with an eight core processor. My version also came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. For the graphics card, I got a Radeon Pro 560X. This is the model that I think most people will grab gravitate towards if they're buying a new 15 inch MacBook Pro because this one comes with eight cores as standard and also comes with other nice things like 512 gigabytes of onboard storage and the Radeon Pro 560X. So really excited to try some benchmarks on this machine. And this model retails for $2,799. I think that probably represents the best value and probably the people that are purchasing a new 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the standard configuration with an eight core processor. So I think this is going to be a pretty common setup. So let's get right into it and unbox the 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro. If you you've opened any of the newly designed MacBook Pros before, you know what to expect. A nice white minimalist box with the MacBook Pro front and center. Open the box and you are greeted right with the 15 inch space gray MacBook Pro. Underneath the MacBook Pro, we get a USB-C cable and a power brick. Of course, some documentation that you aren't going to read. Also some brand new Apple stickers, which come in white despite the MacBook Pro being in space gray, unlike the 2018 MacBook Air, which comes with color matched Apple stickers. Now, now going back to the MacBook Pro, once we peel off that plastic, we see the Space Gray Pro in all of its glory. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, this isn't the brand spanking new bezel-less 16.5 inch MacBook Pro that we've heard rumors about, and it keeps the same exact external design since 2016. Well, except one slight design change, the 2019 MacBook Pro features a slightly altered third generation butterfly keyboard. Apple says that this is a slight material change that should make repeating or stuck keys less frequent. Thankfully, the folks at iFixit tore apart their model, so I wouldn't have to touch mine. In summary, the 2019 MacBook Pro butterfly keyboard features two tweaks from the 2018 version. The first being a material change that goes underneath the keycap. Switching from a special polymer to a nylon fabric, this doesn't change the overall membrane of the 2018 keyboard, but another material that was underneath the keycap. The second change is to the metal dome switches themselves. The surface finish is different, but iFixit couldn't determine the new material changes without further testing and more advanced equipment. But they theorize it was made with a revised heating treatment. One theory on the butterfly keyboard was that excessive heat led to the switches warping and caused repeating characters or stuck keys. As for the feel of the keyboard, they feel about the same as the 2018 MacBook Pro. Still overall quieter than the 2016 and 2017 butterfly keyboard, but still retaining the keys precision. The 2018 and 2019 keyboard keyboards also feel slightly mushier than the older versions, probably due to the membrane placed underneath. Overall, the keyboard feels great to me, although I know it isn't for everyone. And I have gone on record saying that I like the new design of the butterfly keyboard ever since the 2016 model. Furthermore, I have never experienced any keyboard issues with any of the MacBook Pros or MacBook Airs that I've reviewed. However, I cannot in good conscience tell you if the new materials inside the 2019 butterfly keyboard keyboard will fix the problem completely. It might take months or years to find out if this really did resolve the butterfly keyboards people were experiencing. But with that being said, Apple is offering a four year keyboard warranty right out of the box with the new 2019 MacBook Pros, so that might give your purchasing decision a little less anxiety. Now that we covered all the changes to the butterfly keyboard, all of the other changes come on the inside of the MacBook Pro, with that whopping new eight core processor. This model features an eight core i9 2.3 gigahertz processor with turbo boost up to 4.8 gigahertz, not the top spec, but just the one below it. Running Geekbench, we can get some raw numbers on how this CPU should theoretically perform. After running a benchmark, we get a single core score of 5,679 and a multi-core score of 29,770. These results are really impressive, placing 
getting the new 2019 MacBook Pro in line with the top end of Macs, and scoring just under the 8-core iMac Pro and the 2019 5K iMac. Now, one of the big controversies with the 2018 MacBook Pro is that it experienced some thermal throttling when it was released. Apple eventually released a patch which seem to solve some of those issues. However, can we expect an eight core machine, that's two more cores than the six core 2018 MacBook Pro, to not have any thermal throttling issues. To test this, I wanted to run a more intensive benchmark with Cinebench 20. Cinebench can really peg the CPU and we can get more of a glimpse of how the MacBook Pro handles thermally. Running Cinebench 20, we can see that the CPU quickly engages its turbo boost, but doesn't take full advantage of all eight cores for too long. However, as we run Cinebench 20, we can see that the 2019 MacBook Pro never falls below its base clock speed of 2.3 gigahertz. Although the temperature was high hitting 97 degrees Celsius. Overall on the first run the score was a respectable 2934 in Cinebench but still not as great as something like the 2019 i9 8 core iMac which scored around 4021. Now I wanted to keep this machine nice and toasty so I ran the test three more times in succession to see if we could make the machine thermal throttle below its base clock speed. And after all these tests, I could not make it go underneath the base clock speed. Also, the 2019 MacBook Pro's fan noise was very loud, especially under stress. Funny enough, after running this test in succession, the 2019 Pro actually scored a little bit better on the last test at 3045. So I guess even under heat and stress, there wasn't any performance degradation. So far, this is pretty impressive stuff from the 2019 MacBook Pro. I'm really happy with the performance we're getting out of the eight cores, and I'm also happy to see that it's not thermal throttling below the base clock speed. Moving on, I wanted to test the onboard graphics of the Radeon Pro 560X. To do this, I opened the Heaven benchmark. I ran this test twice, once on medium setting and once on ultra settings. On medium, we can see relatively smooth performance throughout the test. The final score was 1743 with an average of 69.2 frames per second. Secondly, I ran the same benchmark, this time on ultra settings and here we saw less than smooth performance throughout the test. At the end of the test, we got an average of 21.9 frames per second with an overall score of 551. Nothing to write home about if we compare it to the Vega 48 found on the 5K iMac. It scored a 1,313 with an average of 52.1 frames per second. However, I will note that the fans did not get as loud as my 5K iMac when benchmarking, so the 560X did not get excessively hot, a good thing for a mobile GPU. Finally, I ran a Final Cut Pro 5K Bruce X benchmark and exported it to ProRes without background rendering. Overall, it exported the 4K file in just 35 seconds. You can run the same test on your own machine to see how much of an improvement the 2019 MacBook Pro would be. Now, this is just a benchmark, but I did edit my last video on the 2019 MacBook Pro and it offered about the same performance as my 2019 Core i9 iMac. The timeline was incredibly smooth, fast, and responsive throughout my time with the machine so far. Now, with a laptop with eight cores, you're going to want to take full advantage of all of these Pro applications, and you know where you can learn these Pro applications better? And that would be with our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare offers incredible classes from professionals on a host of topics, including how to harness the feature of Pro applications. So whether you're getting into video editing, photo editing, graphic design, animation, or anything else that's going to take demand of that eight core processor, Skillshare is where you go to learn those applications. As for me, I need to brush up on my video editing so I can be the next Jonathan Morrison. And thankfully, Skillshare offers courses not only on Final Cut Pro 10, but also Adobe Premiere as well. And Skillshare offers a wide array of courses. So whether you're just starting out or you want to learn more advanced skills, Skillshare is the place to learn. If you're interested in Skillshare and want to learn more, check out the link in the description for a free two month trial on Skillshare. That's two months of unlimited learning for nothing. Not even a community college would give you that. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So we tested the keyboard, ran a few benchmarks, edited a full video on the 2019 MacBook Pro, and I've also had time to spend 24 hours with it. Now, this isn't a complete review. This is just my 24 hours impressions after using the machine. 
But so far, I can say that I am really impressed with the eight core performance found on the 2019 MacBook Pro. I still wanna do some more tests, putting it through its paces, but so far, this thing is a beast. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any additional questions about the 2019 MacBook Pro that I could answer in a full review. Also, if you like the video, make sure you give me a like. If you wanna see more from my channel, including that full review of the MacBook Pro, make sure you subscribe. Also, thank you again to our sponsor, Skillshare. Make sure you check out the link in the description for a two month free trial. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.